Hi, my name is Craig Capson. Uh, about approximately six months ago, I was uh, diagnosed with terminal cancer and sent home to die. Uh, I have here in my hand the letter from St. Mark's Family Medicine in Salt Lake stating that uh, I am terminal, so I was put under hospice and uh, essentially just pain meds, nothing else, and told that I would not be around between three and six the, months. The uh, type of cancer that uh, I was diagnosed with from St. Mark's Hospital was prostatic cancer, uh, which had metastasized to my bones. Uh, by the way, I did lose nearly 76 pounds uh, in the time that I was in the uh, hospitals in the nursing home. And uh, the diagnosis was never changed. Uh, they still said I was terminal, so I was sent home to be under hospice. And since then, I've made great gains because of the Pro-RG9. When I came home, I, I required help uh, with bathing, bed changes, cleaning up. I had a catheter. I have a wheelchair still sitting in the back bedroom and two walkers. Uh, I could not uh, walk with any amount of strength from one end of my home to the other end of the home. I required other people to fix meals for me. I pretty much was either in a chair or in my bed and even turning in the bed was a, a great deal of effort for me. Uh, along with all of the night sweats and the nausea and the, uh, the just malaise that I was uh, feeling from the cancer. Uh, I had a lot of pain at the time, and uh, most of the pain seemed to be through the middle of my back, down into my hips and into the, my leg bones and the larger bones, uh, which is, goes along with uh, metastatic CA of the prostate. Uh, I did medicate some for it, but not a lot. It didn't allow me to sleep a lot and uh, there was just a lot of discomfort from the whole thing, which I don't have anymore. And in fact, it started going away after uh, uh, my friend introduced me to Pro-RG9 and I was uh, started taking the uh, Pro-RG9 and within uh, two months, I was uh, pretty much pain-free. And to date, uh, in the last uh, week and a half or so now, I have been Without my catheter, which is another significant thing, I have feeling back in my legs, which I did not have uh, when I came home. I had numbness and coldness, and uh, it, I, I really felt that I was going to die, so I gave away everything in my home to my daughters and to friends and uh, got prepared to die. I got everything in order. Uh, not happy I gave away everything, but guess what? It's liberating. Uh, first month of uh, my hospitalization, uh, the time I felt hopeless, like uh, it was the end, but I had resigned myself to die. Uh, by the time I'd made it to the nursing home, it made me mad enough to get out of the nursing home, and I decided I was going to die at home. Uh, when I got on to the uh, pro rg 9 the Core Greens, the Mystica, the Vitamin D Spray, uh, 3 Spray that was developed by Dr. Joel Prendergast, uh, my life started to significantly improve. Uh, by the third month, I was up walking, changing my own bed, uh, doing my own showers, uh, fixing some of my own meals. Uh, by the fourth month, uh, I was able to go out and actually go shopping at Walmart again and uh, uh, occasionally go out to, to breakfast. Uh, now that I'm into the fifth month, uh, I'm walking over a mile and uh, have uh, every other day now. I was doing it every day, but it was too much for me. And uh, I'm sleeping oh, very my well. My background was as a uh, nurse. Uh, I was a, uh, a nurse that uh, worked on uh, advocacy programs for the terminally ill. So I never thought I would be terminally ill, but uh, it, things do happen and come around. So I worked in nursing for 23 years, and so I, I know how they think, and I know how the doctors think. So, but I think this is an answer for people if they are looking for a solution.